righty. All right, we're going to be talking about MES and BASH. Just a few slides talking about, you know, the state of affairs with MES and uh, as well as our BATCH solution. So for those who aren't familiar with our MES solution, we are recognized by the Gartner uh, Research uh, Group uh, to be in the uh, leader quadrant um, with respect to manufacturing ex execution systems. So you can see that highlighted. And primarily the main reason are the three reasons on the right-hand side. Uh, being able to be device agnostic and having really good integration to the control system and the MES layer and not care what's on that control uh, system layer in terms of bringing that data up into the MES system. Our system is very modular, so you can implement and use only certain components of the MES application that you might need uh, for your guys' operation whether that's performance, production management, inventory management, quality, you know, kind of track and trace of the operation, as well as scheduling. And you can even extend that scheduling to use um, kind of AI-based uh, planning and scheduling tools to really optimize scheduling. And, and where we see customers use that primarily is through high volume and high throughput operations where there's a you know a, a potentially a great de degree of of potential flexibility in terms of you know which products are are sent to the lines from the ERP system and in what order which lines are they going to based on a wide variety of factors maybe i want to optimize for um you know pure throughput, or maybe I want to optimize for, you know, uh, availability of my equipment, or maybe I want to optimize for um, total revenue, um, right? You can take into those certain factors and, and that, you know, advanced planning and scheduling module will kind of take those into account and kind of facilitate the work order management uh, down to the MES system uh, uh, pretty uh, sophisticatedly. Um, and then the the model driven component is the integration right MES is a lot of transactions and in, in a nutshell right and and really the model driven really what we mean by that is the integration of not only the 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 control system layer not only the manufacturing functions and the the screens and the MES database and all those transactions that are taking place but also the person as well um, so managing and and um, uh, easily managing the workflows of maybe there's an escalation rule and an escalation workflow of of when maybe a um, a particular uh, product or or part was given a a blad or, or a, a failed equality sample. Um, and so there's some business rules and things to follow, right? So integrating the people, the actual interface and the devices themselves is really what 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 we call model driven MES. And as you can see here, right, kind of a high level snapshot of what I've been talking about is the real time data platform that manages that connectivity to the device layer. You've got the core MES buckets, right, the six buckets that I mentioned previously. Then you've got the ability to integrate to the enterprise layer. Right, whether that's an ERP system, a you know uh, WMS system, any kind of limbs system that you might be uh, implemented uh, or wanting to implement, right? You can use kind of a, a, a sophisticated message bus system that allows you to exchange those messages uh, to uh, back and forth between those various systems. There's also also other ways of integrating with other systems through things like APIs and, and uh, you know, custom SDK apps if you really need to go down that road. Um, and then on the left-hand side, right, that work task, right, that's really managing all the workflows as well as the interfaces that you interact with within the MES system. And then the reporting, right, which is the component really to um, create a optimized data store for retrieval 
for those users, you know, maybe it's users that are doing something, you know, basic as SQL Server reporting services, or maybe you're integrating a Power BI client or, you know, Tableau to do some of that reporting. And that contextualized data store is what MES uses to bring in all the different sources that it's aggregating and put them in context to the user that's eventually trying to retrieve that data. And it's a really nice tool to um, kind of optimize that so you don't really have to ma maintain and manage complex queries when you're you're really pulling from different data sources that you know by themselves really don't know that each other exist. And so this contextualized data store really allows you to do that.